Hello student, my name is Sanket. I am Maths faculty in time and I am going to give certain tips about construction and graph. So first starting with the frequency polygon. Frequency polygon, whenever they give you a table, first thing you should check whether the table is in continuous form or not like 20 to 24 and it is starting with 25. So this is not in a continuous form. So you should make it in a continuous form. So after making it in a continuous form, for frequency polygon, rather than in a histogram, in histogram we don't need to remove a class mark, but in frequency polygon, it is necessary to remove a class mark. So we should remove a class mark. So remove the class mark for each and every class. Class mark is what? Nothing but lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. Okay. After you remove a class mark, Check the frequency, then draw an x-axis and y-axis, okay? On x-axis, there will be no classes, there will be a class mark. This is what students do mistake. It's different from histogram. In histogram, we write your classes, class mark. And here, in frequency polygon, we should write the class mark. That's why we remove a class mark, okay? So we should write a class mark, then using a class mark as x coordinate and frequency as y coordinate, plot the points. Okay, after plotting points, you should join that points. You will get a frequency polygon. One more thing, when we draw a frequency polygon and when we make a table, we should take one class prior and one class after given classes okay and the frequency of that classes which we have taken will be zero that's why frequency polygon starts with zero and ends at zero now one more thing which should be noted whatever is given like class mark we are writing a class mark write that class mark then what is that class is about it is about the age of donor so it is in years so we should mention that it is in age in yours then this frequency are what number of workers so don't forget to mention what are this these are number of workers okay then most important part that is scale writing a scale that on x-axis okay i have left a gap of two centimeters that's why i'm writing here two centimeter is nothing but what it is 5 units. So I am writing 2 cm as 5 years because these are the years. Then year on y axis I have left a gap of 1 cm. So I am taking it as 1 cm. These are what people. So 1 cm is equal to 5 people. Here this gap is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Okay. And here we are starting suddenly 0 to 17. So this is uneven gap. So what we should add to it that is crink mark. When the gap between the class mark and when the start is uneven, we should add a crink mark. Crink mark is what? Nothing but like folding the paper. So we are folding that gap. Now next thing is construction. Now constructing a similar triangle. Now in, there are two types. With a common vertex and with uncommon vertex. Okay. With a common vertex, the triangle construction will be like this. One within other. Okay. In this type, we don't have to find their sides separately. We have to construct you within one triangle within other. Okay. So for that, while constructing this triangle, what things you all have to keep in mind? When we draw this parallel lines. Okay, you have to keep in mind that you take this arc. This arc should not be a smaller arc. This should be a bigger arc. Now, what is the reason for that? If you all make a slight mistake, if you all draw a smaller arc, and if you all make a slight mistake, this will bend more. And if you all construct a bigger arc, and if you all make a slight mistake, it will not bend more. 
okay so if you'll make a smaller arc and if you'll make a mistake it will bend towards inside more that's why you should go for the bigger arc to avoid such things okay then you should always mark each and everything whatever is given like angle a is given as 50 degree write that measurement whatever measurement is given like 80 is given as 5.6 write the measurement am is given as 6.3 write the measurement all this are need to be done and need to be noted properly this will avoid in losing your marks like half of marks you can lose in such type of things so this things will avoid losing your marks hope so this is helpful for you and all the best for your exam